the news tonight. I'm Royce and Drake. Thanks for joining us. Popular transgender personality Otis Otisha Pearson is now in police custody as the police probe a report submitted by the Child Care and Protection Agency accusing Otisha of alleged pedophilia. Speaking to this newscast, Crime Chief Paul Williams said Pearson was arrested yesterday afternoon after he promised to turn himself in with his lawyer last week and he failed to do so. The Child Care and Protection Agency pounced on the story after Pearson allegedly made some remarks in an interview on a television newscast about having a little boy for every day of the week. He quickly backpedaled and said his statement was taken out of context. Things were further compounded when a photograph surfaced of Pearson and a lad who is said to be a minor. This prompted an investigation from the Child Care and Protection Agency. The agency completed its investigation and handed over the file to the police. Crime Chief Paul Williams said the police are doing a thorough probe and upon completion, the file will be sent to the DPP for advice. More news after this break. Stay with us. Hey, looky there. Let me go to the techie boots. Boots? Get lack of teeth in a big stinky 30 second hand boots. Plus, it can be more cheaper online. And then got my favorite color, pink. Let me go on. Online shopping. Cheaper, faster, better. Pass back. Breaking news alert. Don't be scammed or fooled by top brand imported mattresses. The imported mattress has a 320 coil count. Comfort Sleep mattresses have 416 coils. Top brand imported coil thickness is 1 mm. Comfort Sleep mattresses, 2 mm. Top brand imported spring size is 55 inches by 75 inches. Comfort Sleep, 58 inches by 78 inches. Top brand imported protection mats are of poor quality and very thin. Comfort Sleep mattresses use a 780 gram protection mat. The top brand imported mattresses use a thinner foam. Comfort Sleep uses a wider and thicker foam. Don't waste your hard-earned money on a poor quality imported mattress. Buy quality. Buy Comfort Sleep mattresses. Welcome back. Family members told this news cast that a loud explosion woke them just around 2.30 this morning. And when they ventured outside, they saw the cars on fire. They believe that someone flew an explosive device which quickly exploded and burst into flames. This its was completely destroyed while this 212 was badly damaged at the back and the other vehicle scorched. The incident occurred at the family's Grove East Bank Demara home. For security reasons, the owner of the vehicles did not appear on camera but he feels that someone is after him and he is hoping that the police can do a thorough probe into the fire. We hear an explosion and when my brother check, he see this car, the fire on here. And when we come out, then we discover the other um, car on fire too. So we, what we did is just get some water from the trench and start out, out the fire. He said his losses are in the millions and it would not be easy to get back on his feet after this. Well, you could see the losses. I don't have no estimated right now for losses, but you could see where's the losses. Why somebody would want to get at y'all like this? Um, I have no idea. I have no idea, so I don't want to speculate anybody right now. It's a big blow, you know that, so we have to face it. The police from the nearby Golden Grove Police Station are investigating the matter. Breaking news alert. Don't be scammed or fooled by top brand imported mattresses. The imported mattress has a 320 coil count. Comfort Sleep mattresses have 416 coils. Top brand imported coil thickness is 1 mm. Comfort Sleep mattresses, 2 mm. Top brand imported spring size is 55 inches by 75 inches. Comfort Sleep, 58 inches by 78 inches. Top brand imported protection mats are of poor quality and very thin. Comfort Sleep mattresses use a 780 gram protection mat. The top brand imported mattresses use a thinner foam. Comfort Sleep uses a wider and thicker foam. Don't waste your hard-earned money on a poor quality imported mattress. Buy quality. Buy Comfort Sleep mattresses.
Kindness Public Security Minister Kamal Dramdatan says he's very concerned about the spate of robberies committed against persons leaving commercial banks, and he is requesting the Guyana Police Force to perform sting operations. To get sting operations done requires some information from members of the public as to who might be doing this thing, whether it is from the banks, and we are now understand that investigations have been carried out in the banks, and the banks have all their employees' um, phones not taken away from them, literally. So it couldn't be, uh, that is what my information is, that when the tellers are working and if they got to give out a $5 million to a person, they don't have their phones to go phone because that was one of the suspicions that we had. Uh, but the bank officials are pretty competent and pretty much people with integrity. I understand their recruitment drive is on that basis. But to tackle the problem, Rajatan said the police have constructed a program to pay informants cash for information. We are working with the police to get as much information, especially from um, some of our informants. And that is why we have set up this informants um, system whereby we can get all police force got it. You got to pay them some money and then they tell you, well, I know that this one is involved and so on. It, it, it operates like that, and we have now structured a program to pay informants cash for the information that we will get, because some people seem not to know their civic duty of telling the police, and so on. And some of them are very scared to tell the police, too. We had that same kind of arrangement with the carjackers uh, at the East Coast there. Lots of the neighbors knew, but they were scared until some other members of the CPG came and found out well, what was so much cars doing there, and then they got enlightened about what it might be and then tell the police and all of that. But we need as much information to come from members of the um, community, and this is where the trust levels have to grow. And we also want also, look, let me say this very clearly. Parents and brothers and sisters of these thief men know who they are. Just like that thief man that gone been laid back and thief goat and sheep and all of them and were shot. The family members knew who they were. But they didn't want to talk until they got killed. And so we, it's a small society, we ain't got a million people. And everybody know every other business. They know how he could buy fancy shirt and all kind of thing and gold band and this and that. He ain't walking no way. But they don't want to come forward and tell the police, but I suspect this fella. The minister said his ministry would be asking banks to put up CCTV cameras in and around their banks. And that's a wrap for this edition of News In Depth. Do join us again tomorrow for another edition. <laughs>